What's going on everybody? JR from JR's Cars here. I hope everybody had a good new year and safe one. And uh, hopefully 2021 will be a hell of a lot better than 2020 was because it was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty bad year. Uh, it was a pretty bad year for everybody. You know, hopefully we can finally come out of this and, uh, you know, get back to some sort of normalcy around here. But in the meantime, I'm going to be working on the Torn again because I'm still trying to trace down where the hell my wet carpets are coming from. So stay tuned because I think I found it and I'm going to repair it. So I had a previous video um, that I did a little bit of work and I figured it was kind of going to repair the issue. Um, I've had that happen before where, you know, um, the, the seal for the fresh air vent coming in through the cowl um, has leaked in other cars too. And um, it, I, I don't know, it seemed to work for a little bit or maybe it was just a placebo effect. Um, but I wasn't getting any leaking for a while, but then we've had some pretty, pretty heavy uh, rainstorms. And um, I'd probably say within, I don't know, the last uh, month, month and a half, um, I've been getting some really, um, really bad wetness, especially on the passenger side of the car. So it's now sitting here. I'm also seeing it now on the driver's side. What I think is happening is it's filling up so much on the passenger side that it's spilling over to the driver's side because I never noticed anything on the driver's side before. So I, I really, I, I tried as much as possible um, to, to try and figure out what was going on. I had the windshield replaced, so I kind of figured maybe it was something to do with a seal on the on the windshield. Um, but everything that I've seen, I mean, I've I've dumped water on this. I've I've tried to see if there's any kind of leaks inside. I mean, you know, looking up to um, looking up into this area here, where you would figure that you would probably see something at least on the headliner. Um, I don't see anything there either. So. I, I ended up taking the uh, the covers off here, and I'll show you in a second. So these are the um, these are the eight pillar covers, and what I did was I took the covers off, and you could see the tube right there. That's the tube that goes from the sunroof all the way down it, through the body, and then it drains out of the um, out of the door. Now I could show you over here when we open the driver's side door. Um, if you can look right, right about in there, you'll see that there's a little tube. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you're going to be able to see that. You should see it right in the center of your screen there. There's a little tube. That's where the, um, that's where the drain is from the sunroof. Everything there seemed to be working fine. I poured water, I opened up the sunroof and I poured water down the two drains that are in the front. And everything poured out fine. I saw no, no issues, anything like that. Um, I then, I, I just opened this up because I wanted to pour some more water down it just to make sure that there's no water, um, there was no water coming out of any of these tubes here. Um, and that seems to be fine too. It's not leaking inside the car. So I was trying to do some research. Um, I did find a, a huge thread about a problem with the sunroof in these cars. Now, it started making me wonder about things too because I didn't notice any of the water leaking um, before I had the, um, the windshield replaced. And then probably about a month after I had the windshield replaced, I started noticing that the sunroof, the front part of the sunroof was dipping underneath the body line. So, you know, again, did a little research, saw that there was um, some people saying that that was normal. So I didn't think anything of it. But then I started hearing like air whistling when I'm driving up the highway, I'm hearing the air whistling. So what I ended up doing was I took my hand and I pushed on the sunroof and the sunroof would actually lift up. So what I'm thinking that the problem is, is there's two screws on both sides of the sunroof and they're loose, really loose. Like to the point where if I open the sunroof and close it, 
it doesn't even attempt to fully close. So what I'm thinking is water's getting into there and it's coming down and I don't see it because it's, it's behind everything that it's maybe following down the tubes that are here and then coming down the outside of the tubes through the body down to the floor. I only really notice this when I get a really heavy rain. If it's just a misting rain or anything like that, I don't see any water on the floor. It's only when we have really heavy rain. Now, yesterday we had heavy rain and um, a couple days ago I had pushed that up. Um, it stays up for a little bit and then it eventually starts making its way back down again and then we get that little gap in the top and I'll show you that in a second here. And see, this is what I'm talking about. You can see that the sunroof sits lower than the body line of the car, right? And that's what I see. I can see here and I can hear it whistling inside the car. But if you give the uh, sunroof a push up, it pushes it back into place. Now you can hear the seal kind of squeaking back into place. So I'm wondering if that's what it is, is that, you know, the water is getting in past here and even though it's going through the drain it's getting it's getting bound up somewhere in here and it's coming down the a pillar of the car and inside into the floor and so you can see how wet this is getting over here right this is all soaked right here it's all soaked <clears throat> it doesn't it doesn't get wet up in here it's all just in this bottom floor pan here. So if you take a look here, these are the bolts that I'm talking about. There's this one right here, and then there is that one right there, right? These are T25 Torx bits. And if you look, when I go to push the uh, sunroof up, you'll see that the whole thing pushes up in place. That bolt isn't tight at all, and I've actually gone through each of the uh, the four of them. They're a little bit loose. They're looser now than they were before, um, but each one of these were completely loose. Like, I, I didn't even have to... Um, uh, I, I didn't even have to use the ratchet on it. I just put the T25 on a uh, six-inch extension, and I was able to loosen them up by hand. You shouldn't be able to do that. So one thing I didn't notice before that I'm actually starting to notice now that I'm looking at this and kind of playing around with it, but you can see all up in here, right? You see all that white that's on there? That's water stains, right? There's all water stains the whole way across the front where this should be sealing and you shouldn't see that. It's all the way around. Let's get that to focus. It's all the way around the sunroof so we did have a snowstorm to where we did have some salt so this if i brush it off this is all the salt that was kicked up onto the car that's underneath it so now that proves to me that water's coming behind this and it's landing here so honestly I think that's where my problem is. Okay, so one other thing I did do here is I took the um, I took the head visor, the uh, sun visors down, and I took this seal out for the door. I pulled the headliner down because I wanted to take a look and see what these um, what these tubes look like here. Because what I noticed is on the driver's side. This tube looks fine. It's it's black. It's the uh, standard um, the standard line that's coming through here. But on the passenger side, you can see how that top section there is a different color. So it looks like it was almost broken at one time. What I noticed was this here. Right on this side, this one doesn't look too bad, but there's this little coupler that's right here that if you pull it off, it's very loose, right? And also where it should be sealing looks wet. So, and it looks worse on the passenger side. So let me show you that one right now. If you look here, you can see it, right? Let's see if I can get in here with one hand and pull this guy out. This has like no resistance to it. And again, that looks really wet. 
and even on this side of the tube it just slides right off there's like no resistance no nothing to it you can see how wet it is on the inside of it too where it should be sealing so at this point what i'm going to end up doing is going to the parts store and seeing if i can get two of these couplers and then what i'll do is i'll put a little bead of rtv on the inside of this end end of this end and put it all back together and hopefully that'll help if there's any if there's any water leaking from the top okay so basically you can see what i did here is i just took this tube and i put a little bit of rtv on the end of it i'm going to take the adapter here put it on give it a twist then we'll clean that up a little bit and then we'll do the same thing for this side over here on the sunroof and then put it back together wait for it to dry and then we can test it out okay so now that that's all put back together you're going to make sure that you're putting your um your door seal back on there when you're putting it back on you've got to make sure that you get it into place and you pound it in there pretty good and you get it to seat all the way in the corner nice and snug because if you don't you're going to end up with leaks up here too and of course now you also have to put your sun visors back on but before you do that right up in about here there's a piece of velcro that you have to push back into place so push that back into place put your sun visors back on and then you're good to go now basically what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to take those bolts out i'm going to put some thread locker on them um i'm going to obviously push the sunroof into position so it's flat along with the body line i'm going to put those uh put those screws in with the thread locker so they don't back out again like that and then i'm going to you know cycle the um cycle the sunroof a couple times just to make sure that it doesn't bind up um and it doesn't cause any issues with it being you know tight again um, but we do have, we do have some rain, or some, some pretty decent rain that's going to be coming in for tomorrow. So I'm going to suction out. I have a little, one of those little green machines. Um, I'm going to suction out the floor, the carpets. They're not going to be perfectly dry, but at least I know, um, I'm not going to have that pooling in there either. Um, so we'll see what happens after the, uh, after the rain that we get. So, you know. I guess we'll uh, we'll take it from there and see what happens. Hopefully that fixes my problem. I, I kind of think that it will fix the problem. And uh, anybody who has a sunroof should definitely look at that too. Um, and this isn't just for the Pontiac Torrent or the, the Chevy Equinox or for the, uh, the Saturn View. Um, this should be for any car that has a sunroof in it. Um, because they basically use the very similar mechanisms to where those bolts will end up coming loose like that. Um, and if they come loose like that, you could end up getting leaks. Um, you know, obviously you want to take a look at your seals. The seals on this look like they're in good shape. So I pretty much think that that's all the problem is with this one. So stay tuned for part two, where I'm going to tell you whether this actually fixed the problem, or if I'm still trying to troubleshoot it and find out where this water leak is coming from. Cause honestly, I got to get it under control because I would love to have a pair of front mats in this car just to keep it clean, but I can't do it because every time we get rain, I get water underneath it. And eventually, you know, as time goes on, whether when it was a little bit warmer outside, now we're in winter, of course, um, when it was actually warmer outside, um, you would get that musty smell that just, it's nasty. Um, and it would, it would get stuck between the carpet and the mat. Um, so hopefully this is going to fix the problem and, uh, I'll keep you guys posted on it and hopefully it'll help somebody else out that's looking through this and having the same type of problem. So hopefully it helped you out. And if it did, do me a favor, give me a like, comment down below and consider hitting that subscribe button because I have a lot more content coming for you. I hope everybody's staying safe out there and I'll catch you very soon in the update video.